Hey there, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I want to show you how to make this weird hedgehog uh, manipulation in Photoshop. It's not really complicated. Uh, you have to be a, a bit patient on some areas like the edges here, but uh, it's not it's not difficult. Uh, on psdbox.com you'll find the links to the stock images that I use, so you can download them for free and try it yourself. And if you're a premium member, you can download the PSD uh, file as well. And if you're watching this from YouTube, you'll find the link on the video description uh, that will take you to my website. So I hope you will enjoy it and let's rock and roll. So we'll start, we'll start with the, with the background. I'm going to copy the, this, um, edit, copy merged. If I find it, copy merged. That way I keep the canvas uh, dimensions. And I'm going to start with a gradient. Uh, I'm going to use a blue gradient, but you can use any color you want actually. As long as it's not very bright because you will not see uh, those seeds there. I'm going to use a color like this maybe. And then for the center, something a bit brighter like this. And I'm going to change the style to radial and I'm going to invert this. Ooh. I'm going to make something brighter for the outside area like this and probably increase the scale to 120 or something like that and move it a bit lower right there. Now I'm going to turn this into a smart object just because I want to add some noise. You can use the noise filter and add about 2% or 1% noise and then um, use a Gaussian blur of 0 0.5 and then sharpen it. I'm going to use the camera raw filter, uh, but if you don't have it, as I said, you can use the noise filter. And here on camera raw, I want to add some grain. I'm going to zoom it to 100% so I can see it better. Whenever you add grain or you sharpen images, you have to increase the zoom to 100% so you can see it better. About 15% and the size to about 50. That's okay. I'm going to click OK and that's it. That's my background. Very simple. And now I'm going to open my hedgehog image. Um, as you can see, I just used three stock images, but actually you can, uh, you can make it with two. I'm going to open this and this is my image. I purchased this image with white background on purpose because it's easy to remove. And I have to make it smaller. Actually, it's too big. If you use a bigger canvas size, you can leave it on the original size. But I want to make it a bit smaller and leave it right there. And now, now I'm going to make a copy with Control Command J and I'm going to name the bottom one multiply and the top one I'm going to name it normal. And I'm going to hide the normal one for a second and change the blend mode of the multiply to, you guessed it, multiply. The reason why I do this is because the background goes away and I keep the shadows here, which is what I, what I need for the final step. And now I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to link them just in case I don't want to move them. They have to be one on top of the other one. Exactly. And on the normal one, I'm going to create an inverted layer mask, pressing the alt and clicking the layer mask icon because I only need, I want to have visible just this part of the, of the hedgehog. So I'm going to uh, get the brush tool, opacity and flow 100% and just paint here with white to reveal the areas that I need. I'm going to fast forward here because I want to, I don't want to keep you watching this um, as I'm doing it. Uh, it's just simple masking, so I'm going to fast forward here. Okay, I'm done masking. As you can see, it's just really simple masking. And now what I want to do is get rid of this part over here. So I'm going to copy this layer mask on the multiply layer. And on this um, mask that I just moved here, I'm going to use the brush tool with a soft brush and paint with white to reveal the bottom part because as you can see, moving this layer mask to the bottom one, you lose the shadow. So I want to recover those. Okay. Great, now what we need to do next is open our second image here. I have two actually, uh, I have this one and this one, you can use whatever, you, uh, whichever you want. Um, this one is maybe better because it's more um, 
it's sharper and the edges here look really nice for um, for the edges of, of the hedgehog if you want to use it but I like this one because it has this flying seeds here and I like it and I'm gonna copy it and paste it on top of the rest of the layers and change the blend mode to move the screen sorry so that the black background background goes away and you can see I just nailed it <laughs> the size um, just make sure it's as big as the hedgehog and now I'm gonna create a layer mask and I'm gonna control click the normal layer layer mask and fill it with black because I don't need the seeds to be visible over the hedgehog's um, body there and with the brush I'm gonna get rid of the bottom part because I don't need it right there great and now comes the masking part um, we have to use the layer one which I'm gonna name Ian, and the normal layer uh, first let's start with the top layer and here if you don't have a specific brush you can use the you can use the brushes that come with Photoshop this grass brush but make sure you uncheck color dynamics and I'm gonna also uncheck transfer because I don't need it and here you just have to um, rotate the brush a bit and see oops not, not good I have to rotate it even more like this and here what we need to do is paint with white on the uh, top layer this one over here because we want to reveal parts of it like this and like this I have to make it smaller I'm gonna undo and do it again and just blend both images and on the normal one I'm gonna do the same but paint with black to get rid of that and now I'm gonna go back to the top one and paint with white back in and that's okay now that it looks a bit better the same here for the ears and the same over here great now you can do the same here but I have to rotate this and probably flip it oh, let's not flip it yet We have to flip it over here, make it a bit bigger. I'm going to show you a trick to blend these two images better. Um, but let's, well, actually, I think it's look, it looks okay now. Oops. Not good. Paint with white over here on the layer mask. And with black here on the hedgehog's body, but with a smaller brush. Okay, now you can see the transition, it's quite obvious, it's quite visible. Uh, quite visible. So what you can do is create a layer mask between the hedgehog and the top image and with the small brush, well, not with the soft brush, sorry, uh, opacity and flow about 30 and 30, just paint with white like that and the transition will look a bit better. Yeah, before and after don't overdo it uh, because it will look weird so I have to remove some of it from there okay and uh, what else let's take care of the hairs around here you can use the same brush you can use this brush over here and maybe a bit smaller and on the layer mask of the normal layer you just paint with white um have to increase the opacity and flow to 100% and paint with white but for some reason is not working oh because i'm painting with the with the eraser with the brush so just paint with white over these areas over here And that way you can recover the hair, see that? And it looks more realistic than just having a straight line. And the same here on the ears if you want. Just a few passes. And you just have to 
rotate the brush all the time. It's a bit annoying, but well, that's the only way of doing it. And the same over here, but here we have to flip the brush because I want the hair to be falling downwards to the, there, not upwards. And I'm going to use a bigger brush. Uh, just like that, a few passes. And I think we're good. Uh, you can do the same over here, but um, while well, you got the idea, I'm not going to spend too much time doing it. You already got the idea. Um, yeah, I think it looks nice now. If you want to fix some parts over here, what you can do is use the other image, for example, this one, or just copy uh, parts of the of this one. Let's try and copy this part over here. Edit the other copy. And maybe just put it, I'm gonna flip it and probably put it over there. And with the layer mask, with an inverted layer mask, then you can paint back in uh, parts that you, where you want to have this stuff like that to cover up some parts of the image where you it doesn't look really really nice the the blend the blending of the images okay so i'm going to delete this and move on now i'm going to um leave it like this i think it looks pretty nice for and i made it really quick and let's make some final adjustments i'm going to add a actually i'm going to um, merge all layers into a new one with shift alt command e and I'm going to go to filter camera raw. If you don't have camera raw, you can use other um, methods, uh, but I like this. If you use a previous version of Photoshop, previous to CC, you can um, see other tutorials that I made where I explained how to use the camera raw filter in previous versions of Photoshop. And here I'm just going to lower the highlights a bit and the whites a bit and in the shadows make them a bit darker and increase the vibrance and the saturation and here you can do whatever you want you can make some split toning effects like this and i'm gonna click ok i should have sharpened a bit uh, the seeds here and i added too much too much green i'm gonna add some magenta back on the image especially on highlights and now I'm going to add a color lookup and use the edgy ember at just 10%. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's how I made this really weird hedgehog. Um, I hope you liked it and we'll see you on the next tutorial.